guys, I'm coming at you with some last minute, easy couple costume ideas. So I really hope you find this helpful. These are some of my favorites, so I really hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so for this first costume, you could be Mia Wallace and Vincent Vega from Pulp Fiction. And if you don't know who these two are, you definitely should watch this movie. It's a classic. It's so good. It's definitely one of our favorites. And it's a very popular couple costume because it's so easy. A lot of the stuff you can probably find in your own closet already. Um, so it's perfect for a last minute costume. So for Mia's costume, the basic thing you need is a white button down shirt. Now you could go for the classic collar one, which is what she wears in the movie, but I wanted to change it up a little bit just in case there was other Mias out there. Um, so I went for this off the shoulder one from Windsor, which I think matches her vibe very well. And then for the rest of it, you just need some black jeans. I just wore some I already had in my closet, along with some strappy black sandals, but you could also go for black pumps. And then you need a black wig, unless your hair is already like this, which is kind of epic, <laughs> but I got mine off of Amazon. And uh, then I wore some red lipstick and carried around fake cigarettes for props. For Vincent, the main thing is an all black or dark colored suit. So your guy probably has this already in his closet. If, no, if not, they're fairly easy to find for a super affordable price. And then underneath that, he needs a white button down shirt with a bolo tie. That's huge. I found one super cheap off of Amazon. If he has long hair, you can tie that low back on the nape of his neck with strands coming out at the top. And then for an added fun prop, you can buy like a fake syringe at a Halloween store because that's kind of what happens in the movie. He stabs Mia in the heart with the syringe. If you watch it, you get it. Um, but anyways, that's it. It's so easy and it's an epic costume. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Okay, so costume idea number two is a super fun one. This is Marty McFly and Doc from Back to the Future. And this one I feel like is really underrated. I don't know why I haven't seen more of these duos on Halloween because this one is so fun. And if you're the type of couple that doesn't like to dress all cutesy for Halloween, uh, this one is perfect for you because I think Pat and I could not say serious, stay serious for one clip of this because we were laughing so much. So this one's very easy as well. For Marty's costume, all you're gonna need is a white and black button down shirt a red vest and a denim jacket. That's kind of like his main top um, part that's gonna kind of like stand out. For the rest of it, you just need some light wash denim jeans and some like vintage looking sneakers. He wears Nikes with like the red stripe, but I just had some white ones already that I just wore. Or of course you can wear Converse. Another thing is he wears aviators or some type of like sunglasses and then I ha bought a Casio watch, like an old 80s watch from Amazon. Uh, like, I, like always, I'll have all of this stuff linked so you can buy it super easily. And then if you can skateboard, which I can't, but you can carry around a skateboard or skateboard all night, um, which would be really fun. So moving on to Doc's costume, this one is also very easy and Pat actually had a lot of this stuff in his own closet. Um, so you only need to buy a few things. So starting off with the main parts of his outfit, you need some, some sort of like khaki colored pant um, and then like a floral or patterned shirt. Doc always wears this kind of like crazy stuff underneath his lab coat. You could go for like the one suit lab coat if you wanted to, but this one was just a little bit easier. So we just bought a lab coat off of Amazon and then a crazy like Einstein mad scientist wig with some glasses and it looked perfect like he definitely recognizable especially if you stand together um, I just think it's so fun and uh, you can make this a group costume too I think it would look really epic for the third costume we went for a classic storybook route and we did Alice and Mad Hatter couple costume we took inspiration from not only Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland but also Vanessa Hudgens and Austin Butler I love how they both kind of modernized it and made it a little bit different from the classic one this also makes it super easy to pull from your own closet hence being perfect for a last minute costume so for Alice's outfit I just wore this off the shoulder denim dress which I had all through the summer and that's from Lulu's to make it more Alice I tied around a white apron which I got from Amazon along with my socks which are just like a white with black bow socks and they're like up to the knee but I scrunched them down into like my everyday fall booties just to make it like I said a little bit more modernized I guess and then I wore um, a black choker and then a blonde wig which I already had from my stranger things video um, but you can go ahead and wear like a classic Alice wig with like the bangs and everything if you want to 
And then lastly, I found this little rabbit purse from Amazon. It has like the Queen of Hearts on it. I thought it was perfect. It kind of tied the whole look together. And plus, you can keep stuff in it, which is awesome. And then for Mad Hatter, this one was really easy to put together also because Pat had a lot of this stuff. So he just wore some black denim jeans with like rips in them along with his um, brown like lace up boots which matched the brown hat which we bought from a Halloween store. And then around that we tied a, like a fun printed scarf that I already had owned. And then he wore a green printed top from ASOS, which he can wear again. Um, and then to mix prints, because Mad Hatter, we, I put on some like striped suspenders, which again he already had, making this so easy for him. And then um, for the hair, I just bought some orange temporary hairspray from the party store and uh, sprayed that all over his head. And we even smudged some eyeliner under, under his eyes to make him look even more mad. And after that, the costume is complete. I absolutely love this one. I think this one was our favorite just because of how fun and different it was and I like that we were able to put our own spin on it. So let us know in the comments which costume we should be this year and don't forget to check out all my Halloween videos that I've done so far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!